How's it going guys? Nathaniel Hawthorne here and today we're going to be doing a celebrity style breakdown on one of the most iconic celebrities when it comes to men's fashion and that's g Easy. So if you're interested in pulling off some of the aesthetics that he typically goes for, whether it's the bad boy look or the retro greaser inspired type of outfits or even some of the casual streetwear outfits that g Easy is known to pull off, then this video is definitely going to help by giving you some tips that you can implement into your own wardrobe. If you guys don't already know, my name is Hawthorne and I make fashion and life coaching YouTube related content. So if looking good and leading a happier and healthier life is something you're into, be sure to subscribe. But with that, let's get straight into the video. The first thing that I want to get into when it comes to Jeezy's fashion is his outerwear. And if there's one thing that we can say about this celebrity is that he has an expensive taste. This is particularly seen when it comes to his outerwear pieces as he opts more for those designer brands like Saint Laurent, which is no surprise as he mentions this brand a lot in his music. Whether it's a Saint Laurent leather jacket or a Saint Laurent varsity jacket, or even some of the more inspired retro pieces that Saint Laurent puts out, he definitely has a large collection of these more expensive type of jackets. That isn't to say that Saint Laurent is all he rocks. He's been seen wearing pieces from Valentino, whether it's a leather jacket, or when Off-White was in its peak, he would also rock Off-White like the Off-White varsity jacket. And like I said in the start of the video, with these outerwear pieces, he puts a bunch of different type of aesthetics together. If he wants to go for that more bad boy type of aesthetic, he'll wear the leather jacket paired with some tight black skinny jeans. And on top of that, he'll then add a Saint Laurent boot, whether it's something made out of suede or leather. This really completes the look and gives the outfit a more sleek silhouette. This type of aesthetic is perfect if you're gonna be going for a night out downtown where they're going to be hitting up bars or if you're going for a date and you know it's going to be cold kind of windy you want to look put together but you still want to have a bit of an edge to you then leather jackets are perfect for that on top of that he goes for a greaser retro type of aesthetic but sometimes he has a bit more of a modern twist to it if he does want to go for those old greaser type of aesthetics he'll wear something like i said those pieces from saint laurent but he'll pair it with light denim and then he does something interesting which is he pairs it with a loafer now with these type of shoes this is for the type of guys that want something that's a bit more experimental and aren't afraid to step out of their comfort zone but if this is not so much your aesthetic and you want to feel like it's a more modern interpretation of the greaser aesthetic you can pair with old school vans as he does in a lot of his outfits and i think that this comes off really nice it's a modern interpretation of an old style and it just makes it a lot more comfortable to wear especially if you're barely beginning to branch out into these different styles of fashion with his trench coats i'm not going to spend too much time just because i covered it in the last video but he goes for different type of aesthetics whether he's going for a more streetwear type of execution where he'll have the trench coat but then he'll pair it with a nike high top or even some casual white sneakers or he'll just go all in for that more menswear professional type of approach wearing it with those either leather or suede saint laurent boots now let's get into his t-shirts and he wears either graphic tees or you know more of those band tees however i want to talk about the more interesting options in his wardrobe and he wears a lot of button-up shirts with really interesting designs again i'm gonna say it a lot but going for those retro type of aesthetics but he also plays a lot with floral prints this is something that is also seen with the celebrity tom holland so if you're gonna get anything from this video is that a lot of these celebrities wear this type of stuff for good reason because it's versatile if you're going for those floral prints you can wear it with a varsity jacket in his case he wears it with the saint laurent varsity jacket which looks great and you can dress it more casual for a summer's day just so you can feel comfortable it's loose it's effortless and it just has so much versatility in terms of his pants we've already seen that he wears denim whether it's light or dark denim but on top of that he shares another similarity to tom holland wearing those more casual type of office pants that have those kind of square designs these are great especially if you're more into menswear and you want to just have a clean silhouette that's not gonna appear edgy or appear kind of experimental then getting these type of pants is perfect just for throwing on a basic tee with it a nice type of heavy duty sweatshirt on top of it 
perfect for if it's something like a first date or you're gonna be having dinner you know over at your girlfriend's house and your parents are gonna be there and you just want to look presentable then these style of pants are perfect for those type of outfits on top of that he wears relaxed pants that are more of a high waist type of fit and with this he kind of goes for that old type of gangster vibe and pairs it sometimes even with suspenders if you're a shorter guy, I would recommend staying away from this choice just because it's going to make your proportions look really off. However, if you were blessed and you are tall, then this is a really cool style, especially if you have the hairstyle for it. This is going to be something that's going to set you apart and look completely badass without you having to layer. So it's perfect for those summer days where you want to have that extra bit of flair, but you don't necessarily want to be throwing on any jackets. Now the last thing is his accessories and with this he really covers all his bases whether it's watches bracelets necklaces some chains with this really just buy these different type of pieces go for affordable type of options to begin with see what complements your own style and take it from there but when it comes to sunglasses especially going into summer that's a piece that you can wear without having to feel uncomfortable just because it's so common and it actually has a functional purpose same thing with watches all right guys thank you so much for watching if you liked the video let me know what type of outfits did you like the most what are some of the tips you're going to be implementing into your own wardrobe but with that thank you so much for watching stay stylish stay humble